Lorena, I love you. You're my heart. You're my best friend. Today, I'm giving myself to you in marriage. I promise to be with you through all the ups and downs, through all the good and bad, all the way till the end. I promise to give my best to you and to never give up on us, to never give up on our relationship, to give over everything 100% to us. Um, I promise to encourage you and to inspire you to grow with you through the good times and the struggles. I promise to respect and cherish you always and to give 100%. We've had a long road to this point and this climbing of a mountain today is a perfect symbol for our relationship and our adventure. And I vow to continue this adventure of our life together and to create a happy home and family with you. I love you so much. To my love standing before me, who could have imagined that when we first met, all those times we exchanged stories and hugs at those parties long ago, that we'd be standing here today making a commitment to each other. It's hard to define when I knew I first loved you to just one moment, but everything changed for me when I worked my first auto show. You let me stay with you for a solid 10 nights. And each night after a 13 hour shift, you had a meal ready for me, took off my shoes, and you proceeded to give me foot rubs. It was so thoughtful and so affectionate and so genuine. And it's something I've never experienced before from someone. It was also the first time that you took me camping with you. You showed me a completely different side to you. It was the first time that you were in your element, so ecstatic, pointing out every tree and branch and what they were <laughs> and where they grow. And all along our hikes, you sh shared all your trail stories from living in Carbondale. I put my trust in you then that I wouldn't die from eating that mushroom and it was amazing. <laughs> Every trip we have taken since, I've learned so much from you. Before I met you, I honestly wasn't sure what I wanted. I didn't think I'd ever find someone who wants to be my partner in life. Someone who wants to grow old with me and have a baby and lots of pets. So we're gonna have them. <laughs> but you share that dream with me. And now, I don't ever want to be apart from you. When we're apart, I know I say that I miss your morning parts, but really I just miss your face and your presence and having your hand on me. Because you make me feel very secure. I don't know what life has in store for us, but I can't wait to share a lifetime of mornings listening to jazz and drinking coffee. To the all the campfires we'll sit in front of to all the camping trips, to all the parks we're gonna explore and all the bike rides we have yet to have. I love doing all these things with you and I can't imagine anyone else I'd rather be with doing these things. Almost done. <laughs> For me, marriage is about choosing each other every day. I don't believe in the one, but I do believe in a partnership a business partner, a lover, and a friendship. And I feel like we can conquer whatever comes our way because you are my partner. So to you, I promise to always say I love you and kiss you goodbye when I leave the house. I promise to love you as you deserve to be loved with admiration, adoration, and passion and respect. I promise to support your interests and nourish your passions. I promise to remain loyal to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I promise to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously and to laugh with you the rest of the time because I'll never get enough of those dad jokes and all your puns. I promise to take care of you when you are sick, grumpy, or sad 
or just when you forget to take care of yourself. I promise to create a loving household and raise a child and have many cats with you as equal partners. I promise to put our marriage first over any fight and over any grievance. Curtis, to you I vow to remain by your side as we grow old. To those days when all we have to do is go out garden and go on walks or learn to play badminton. I look forward to the next chapter in our life as we embark on this new path together. I want to welcome everybody here today. Thank you everybody for coming. We really appreciate all the honored guests for traveling all this way out of state and climbing up this mountain with us. <laughs> the rings are in the car. Oh, my There's God, what's <laughs> that? Okay. 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 We're here now during the 40th anniversary of Curtis's parents, John and Laura, who are also married here at the summit of Pikes Peak. And we just might be starting a Jensen family tradition. Permanezcamos en el amor. Queridos hermanos, amémonos los unos a los otros, porque el amor viene de Dios, y todo el que ama ha nacido de él lo conoce. El que no ama no conoce a Dios, porque Dios es amor. Así manifestó Dios su amor entre nosotros, en que envió a su Hijo ungiéndolo al mundo para que vivamos por medio de él. En esto consiste el amor, no en que nosotros hayamos dejado de amar a Dios, sino en que él nos amó y envió a su Hijo para que fuera ofrecido como sacrificio por el perdón de nuestros pecados. Queridos hermanos, ya que Dios nos ha amado así, también nosotros debemos amarnos los unos a los otros. Nadie ha visto jamás a Dios, pero si nos amamos los unos a los otros, Dios permanece entre nosotros, y entre nosotros su amor se ha manifestado plenamente. Amen. Amen. Thank you.